Hi everyone. I am here with this series titled Study to Show Thyself Approved. I will cover scriptures that the Holy Spirit leads me to share with everyone. I am not here of myself. The Lord has given me specific topics that he wants me to share with everyone. So that is what I am here to share. I will share a quick prayer before getting started. Lord, thank you for allowing me to speak to your people. I decrease so that you can increase in my life and I submit myself to your will and to your word. Let it be your words and not my words coming forth, Father. Open the ears of every hearer and give them a new revelation of your word. Bless their households and their families. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, because I study my Bible, people ask me questions. These topics will be things that I have never heard taught to the younger generation, and I want my children and others to know and understand how to study the Bible for themselves. What you see on TV or in the movies is not God's law or the kingdom of heaven. When I say kingdom of heaven, this is a different uh, lingo than a Christian Kingdom citizens are concerned with the Lord's will being done on earth as it is in heaven. We follow God's word to fulfill his word in the earth. We don't change God's word to fit our lifestyle and we don't change God's word to deceive others. So I want to give a disclaimer that this word is for those who want to live holy and adhere to God's instructions. If this sounds too deep, and is it something that you are searching for? You can click off now and we can move forward. Amen. The first scripture that I want to go to is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 10. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. One of the questions that I am mostly asked about this scripture is, what is an abuser of themselves with mankind? And if you look at 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 10, it says, defile themselves with mankind. So if you want to understand what this, what these words mean, you have to go to the Strong's Greek translation, because when it's in the New Testament, the language is Greek. And when it's the Old Testament, the language is Hebrew. So you need to have those two translations in order to study. So Strong's Greek translation refers to G733, which means it's a sodomite. What is a sodomite? Well, you have to go to Miriam Webster to look that up or dictionary online. And it says that is someone who practices sodomy. Well, what is sodomy? The English Miriam Webster de definition is anal or oral copulation with a member of the same or opposite sex. Within the Greek translation of G733, it also refers to Strong's G2845, which refers to the marriage bed. So those who practice sodomy will not inherit the kingdom of God, whether you are married or not. Because I hear a lot of married couples refer to the scripture that says the marriage bed is not defiled. This is why you have to study to show yourself approved because 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 9 through 10 lets you know that you can defile your marriage bed with sodomy and it will cause you not to inherit the kingdom of God. As kingdom citizens, you must stop inviting pagan practices into your marriage. You have to stop watching TV and allowing gurus and people who consider themselves to be theo theo what is it? theologians <laughs> to tell you what God's word says. Do not allow theologians to tell you what God's word says when you can look it up for yourself. 
So that's why I'm here to help give you the tools so you can research, research and study the word for yourself. When you study the word for yourself, no man, no bishop, no pastor, no deacon, no spouse, no theologian, no one can deceive you in these last and evil days. Because the Bible tells us that in the last days, even the very elect will be deceived. Who are the very elect? Those who consider themselves to be God's children and they think that they are living holy and they think that they are living right. I encourage you to pray over this word and study this scripture and research it in your private time. Do not let me deceive you or anyone else because that is how I was raised. Even my parents told me when they explained the word of God to me. They always told me, don't listen to me. Read the scriptures for yourself. Do your own research because do not let anyone deceive you, not even your parents, not even people that you trust. Because when you stand before God, it's only going to be you and him. No one else will be there with you to plead your case as to why you should re receive freedom in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So God bless you all. And until the next teaching. Bye-bye.